Hi everyone, this is a continuation uh, for previous part due to some issue that uh, it got ended, meeting got ended. So here uh, in the previous uh, part, we have seen how to get the data from uh, all the columns using a T-Java row. Here we have seen how to utilize a T-Java row, uh, like basically to call all the Java code or uh, system uh, uh, routines, whatever available. So here, uh, this job is right now displaying Let me run this job. It is displaying the five columns, uh, employee name, email. If you see, so it has employee number, e-name, high debt, salary, commission. Till commission, we are able to pass the value. And uh, salesperson flag, let us see, this is a new column we added. So what is the purpose of the salesperson flag is nothing. But if there is a value in the commission, then I want to display it as yes. If there is no value in the commission, then I want to display it as no. So if they, have, if they are getting a commission, then those I want to consider as salesperson, otherwise no. So I have added a output port, which is called salesperson already, with the, which is a string data type. Salesperson flag I added, and I'm considering it as a string data type. Okay. So let us see how to do that. So I'm, we, can, we can achieve that by using an if statement. Till now, we have seen how to convert to lowercase or substring, how to call the Java function, or how to call the uh, string handling, uh, which is available as a system routines uh, right now. And this is left is also a system routine, which is available by default. And these are the Java functions, which is a substring, uh, etc. we have seen. Right now, we, we are seeing an example how to call the if statement right now. So what I'm doing, <coughs> if, if I have a null value in the commission, then I want to display it as no. So we have further purpose. We have relational, uh, we have relational system routines. And in that we have is null. Sorry, relational dot is null. Is null always, uh, these are the system routine which is available. And uh, is null always accept a parameter and it will return through or false. It will return through or false. I'm allocating input row dot commission here. And this will return true when we have a, when commission is null. So when commission is null, what I want to display? Output underscore row dot salesperson flag equal to no. Else, I want to allocate yes. When it this always will return true when the commission is null. When the commission is null, it will allocate salesperson flag as no. Else, it will allocate yes. wrong syntax we have written. Ah, we did not end it the packet. We opened here, but we did not end it. The parenthesis. So it allocated values. When the commission is null, it is constrained as no. When the commission is having a value, it is constrained as yes. And here, you can do addition also. Like example, I want to add salary plus commission. Even that also we can do in T Java. In T Java, you can, example right now, I'm constraining a Example, the input number of ports are many, but output are different. You can see employee number, e-name, high date I'm taking from input, but salesperson, it is not coming from an input. This is a custom output we have created, output row. So right now I'm creating one more, which is called total salary, and which I need to add salary plus commission, total salary. 
and I want to allocate a data type called big decimal. Why? Because salary and commission are big decimal. If I want to add uh, salary plus commission, I want to consider as total salary as big decimal. And the formula inside that I want to utilize total salary. Now, sorry, uh, I want to add salary plus commission and I want to allocate to total salary. Output underscore row dot total underscore salary. Let me cross check the scaling one more time. Total salary. Yeah. So total salary equal to input underscore row dot sal plus you cannot use uh, plus here why because this is for concatenation instead we have sal dot add we have a uh, system routine which is called add but add comes under mathematical routine uh, add comes under a mathematical routine uh, yeah this one add input underscore row dot commission so here you can see so what i'm doing output row total salary i'm allocating i'm adding salary with commission but this returns uh, error by why because commission is having a null value so whenever it is having a null value, I don't want to add basically. Right now it is trying to add salary plus commission even though there is a null value and because of that it will uh, either error out or it will return null. Let's see. Yes, it is erroring out. You can see. Cannot read a null. Null is there. It has a value called a null. That was the reason it is erroring out. So what we have to do for this purpose? So perform the addition, perform the addition only when commission is having a value. Otherwise, there is no need to perform any addition. So instead, what we have to do, perform this addition only when there is a value available in the commission. So you can use the same statement, which will return true when there is a null value. So when there is a null value, when there is a null value, so you can use question mark when there is a null value or you can use if statement also. You can use if statement also. Okay. So, or you can write the syntax like this. Both ways I will try to show you. So when it is having a null, when this is returning true, I want to pass total salary equal to input, unders input underscore row dot salary. Okay. Or if it does, if it is having a value, basically if this re it returns true when it is having when it is having a null value. So it returns false when it doesn't have when it is having a value. So when it is false, it will execute this part. When it is true, it will execute this part. So that means total salary will be allocated with salary value when commission is null. When commission is having some value other than null, then it will add salary plus commission and it will pass to total salary. So, yeah, let me run this. Here you can see 800, 600 plus 300, 1900, 1250 plus 500, 1750, 2975 plus null, 2975. This is the and the same thing you can achieve by using if statement also. Uh, you can achieve by using if statement. If the same thing you can achieve by if statement. Copy this comment. This is a comment. So I'm writing if statement. When it is null value, I want to allocate total salary with only salary value. Input row dot SCL semicolon yes it should be allocated with it should add commission it should add commission not okay so 
instead of uh, directly allocating, I am writing an if statement to allocate. It's two ways we can do. Two ways we can do. So T Java row component it accepts input row and we can apply some Java code on top of it. We can do the transformation by applying a Java code. Then we can that value we can pass it to output row. You can see. <coughs> both ways and we can cross check example this employee number whether it is palindrome number or not in t java already we have seen similar thing i want to see every value available in this employee number whether this is palindrome or not so it is completely your you whatever the java code you have that java code you want to apply on input row and the result i want to pass to t log row so I'm creating one more column, which is a string. Why? Because palindrome, if it is returning, then I'm writing it as a string. I'm writing it as flag. The column name as pal underscore flag I have written. And uh, so palindrome first I need to pass I need to pass I need to pass the employee number to a variable okay so I'm constraining a variable right now integer integer and I'm allocating a value called input underscore row dot employee number. So I want to test whether employee number is palindrome or not. Then I'm taking a couple of other variables as a reference, which is uh, sum equal to sum, uh, which is I'm taking a value as uh, <coughs> initial value IV, okay. And I'm allocating n to it. I'm allocating n to it. Initial value. Okay, I'm allocating to it. And I'm creating one more variable. And uh, final value or the reverse value. The reverse value. Okay, initial value and the reverse value. I'm taking. Initial value, reverse value. couple of variables I'm taking. So here, uh, instead of writing everything manually, I can utilize this also here. Initial value allocated, and I have taken one more is uh, uh, to perform this operation, uh, which is nothing but, uh, yeah. And uh, I have taken one more variable. Then I'm performing while n greater than zero and I'm allocating n equal to n uh, percentage 10. So which will extract basically, which will extract uh, which will extract uh, the last letter. Okay. And uh, R V equal to initial I want to allocate R V with zero and uh, R V into then I want to allocate inside a value of 10 with the rest of the letters and closing it. And uh, the initial value, if uh, 
if uh, initial value equal to the reverse value both are true then i want to call what is my output row what is my output row equal to yes else equal to no run this if there is a syntax error then it throws error so t java component is always used for accepting an input uh, okay cannot be resolved to a variable uh, no, okay here yeah, this is a output row right it is not a variable output underscore row dot here also write it as output underscore row dot Type mismatch cannot convert from integer into boolean. So it is a error we are getting. It is not able to convert integer into boolean. Uh, Equal is used for allocation. So instead, uh, someday syntax issue, someday syntax issue is causing. And When I am allocating to IB uh, equal to zero and equal to zero, okay. Then, uh, yep, everything is looking good. While statement, uh, the syntax issue in while statement basically we have passed correctly itself. Uh, we have passed correctly itself. While n greater than zero, bracket service. Yes. You cannot convert big decimal into integer. Looks like employee number is considered as a big decimal. Uh, let me cross check. Let me cross check edit schema. Cross check the employee number whether that is yes, it is big decimal. And we have an option to convert to integer, which is called init value. I can use this init value to convert integer value function dot integer value to convert big decimal to integer. While allocating, while allocating. Uh, let me show you that the error. Let me explain you the error. So here, what I have, what I'm doing, employee number is a big decimal, and I'm allocating that to integer variable. So that was the reason it is causing error. So what I have to do, the big decimal, I'm converting to integer, and I'm allo allocating to n. Then whatever the value available in l, I'm allocating to initial value. Then I created one more integer, which is called reverse. Why? Because the value available in this, I want to get it as reverse. So instead of using a function, what I'm trying to do, 
first i am trying to check whether n is greater than 0 n is having a value called employee number yes if it is greater than 0 then what i am doing i am getting the first last letter basically here n percentage can always gets the reminder example if i have a value as 1 2 3 4 5 then the last letter will be retrieved using this which is called reminder when i do n divided by 10 whatever the reminder i have that i will get this one will be always a reminder when you divide by 10 so this 5 will be allocated to rv then what i am doing rv plus rv into 10 reverse value so it has 5 and initial value it is 0 initial value it is 0 so here let me take n equal to n percentage okay so now n has last value then i am doing rv plus rv into 10 by instead of 10 let me take a single value a variable called single value and this single value we can use here single value and that single value Yes. So the first letter, whatever I'm fetching, I'm adding to the previous letters. The last letter I fetched and uh, the initial value with RV is zero. Why? Because it doesn't have anything. So whatever the value I fetched, five, it will be plus zero. Then second time it will fetch four. So initially it has five, five into 10, 50 plus four, 54. That way this loop will be keep on working and it will fetch last two first then it will return whether it is palindrome or not. Let me see. Nothing is palindrome. Nothing is palindrome. This way, in T Java code, you can call Java code. Basically, you can call system routines. You can call... Uh, you can do addition, subtraction by using sys with the help of uh, system routines, whatever we have. You can create custom routines and you can call them. You can uh, allocate input row, uh, output row to the input row. So basically, T Java row advantage is you can do transformations with the help of system routines and with the help of Java code. This is a main advantage. Whereas T map, you can do only system routines here. But in T Java row, you can apply Java code to uh, to do the transformation of the data. So this is a main advantage of T Java row. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can mention in the comment, then I will reply to that. Thank you.